good morning happy first of june can you believe it's the first of june i can't right so i thought oh, why did i say that right time i thought i would give june vlogs a go so the aim is to do a vlog every day in june I, t I usually can if I decide to do a whole month. I usually can. Not every vlog's a good one, but I usually manage to put something out. This June, I think, might be very boring because it's going to be garden heavy and I've got to decorate our barn. You might remember from... Vlogmas, I think it would have been. Would it have been Vlogtober? Or even February? In fact, all of those, I would have been mentioning that we had this little, um, really old stone building barn. It was called the barn. It came with the house when we bought it. And over the years, it's just fallen into massive disrepair. But the problem with that is that it's attached to our neighbour's barn conversion which is a lovely barn conversion where they live and obviously if you've got a building hanging off the back of your house that is in a mess it impacts on your home so we did the responsible thing and decided that we would fix it up but us being us we didn't just fix it up to make it functional we've gone to town and we have we have future proofed our life so we are ready for ailing parents grandparents we are ready for guests grandchildren um you know everyone can just come back and stay um but mostly we are ready for it to be a training zone <laughs> for our eldest son bill who to live independently, he is going to have to be trained for a long period of time so that he knows what he's doing because he gets very muddled otherwise. So he can live up there and feel like he's being independent, but I can still... A timer went off. We've got an auction house couple of towns villages away it's not not far from here and um because of this barn we've got a few things from the house all piled up in that room stressing me out actually ready to go up into the barn um but there's other things that i need to get like rugs and things so i'm going to see if they've got a sale on tomorrow and have a look at their catalogue and then see what i can go in and put some bids on anyway all of that to say it's my job to paint the bloody barn I am not looking forward to it. If it was a case of just painting it to change the colour, I'm all over that. But when it's a mist coat and I've got to do loads of primers and making good and sanding down and polyfilling and I just don't enjoy the prep. And also I've still got a sore elbow. That was horrible. Ugh. Um from digging the victory garden with the children during the first lockdown in April 2020. It doesn't hurt as bad as it used to. I'm going to stop waffling now because my time is going to go off again in a minute. Every hour I'm doing 10 squats and I'm doing that 10 times a day. So I'm doing 100 squats every day through June. And this is for um diabetes uk um so i'm not how do i skip? right i found not so long ago a podcast and vlog channel that i really enjoy called my yarny corner and alex the host of said podcast she was diagnosed with diabetes at, i think at the beginning of the year and when you get diagnosed with diabetes, it's a, it's a bit of a shock, isn't it? Um, but And the diabetes nurse said to her, you need to lose weight. Now, if that was me, 
<laughs> diabetes nurse said to me, you need to lose weight. I'd have gone home, sunk a bottle of wine and ate my way through a multi-pack of biscuits. But Alex didn't. She went home, she lost two stone in two months and put her diabetes into remission, which I find incredibly inspiring because that's not easy to do. She's done it by um, using all the guides on Diabetes UK website. She's um, become a member, I think. And they are doing this thing where you do 100 squats a day through June. Well, it's 3,000 squats in the month. So to break it down to make it achievable. And when she said she was going to be doing that and doing daily vlogs through June, I thought, I'm going to join you. <laughs> I'm going to come along. I think it would do me good. Because actually, I do need to lose a bit of weight because my testosterone hormone level has skyrocketed again. Which is very annoying because one of the only ways to lower that is to lose weight. And I actually hate having to do that. I could do with losing a stone. I am a stone over my fighting weight, but it does seem a little bit of a kicker that I mean I'm not a I'm not a massively bodied person and yet it's having an impact on my health. Excuse me, really nice. I actually know I look fine. I and I am in a healthy weight range. So it annoys me that I've got to lose some weight. Because I don't want to. Boring. Anyway. So I thought I'd do the squats. And channel a bit of my Alex. To look after myself a bit better. So I'm doing that. Alex is being sponsored. I'm going to go and nick her sponsorship. Um, link. And if you guys fancy sponsoring me. Rather than me having to set up a sponsorship thing, just do it on her page and just say, oh, do what you like. <laughs> I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm going to enjoy my one caffeinated drink of the day because a lot, well, with my elevated testosterone, it's affecting my um, my adrenal gland and it's giving me heart palpitations. At least that's what we think is going on. This is not information I tend to know all the time. It's not, I don't, I'm not aware of this sort of stuff. I've just started getting heart palpitations. Went to the doctor. Doctor said, could be a number of things. We'll check you out. So, um... Oh, this is going to be such a long vlog. I'm already on about seven minutes as it is. This might be all you get today. Um, went to the doctor. The doctor did my blood pressure, 100 over 60, so super good. Did my resting heart rate on an ECG, 59, 60 beats per minute. Super good. Um, my, I wrote it down, my haemoglobin a1c level is spot on and my serum lipids are spot on so i then thought well they're missing something so i did one of these thriver finger prick test jobbies that my friend ali got me on to i just i just do it if i feel like i just want to know what's going on if i'm feeling a bit perky peaky and um it yeah it came back with the testosterone being ridiculously high i mean i'm basically growing the beard um and my omega-6 is out of whack with my omega-3 now that is really easy to fix with diet and um, algae supplements so I'm not worried about that but my heart palpitations are really getting on my nerves I feel like I'm falling off a curb all the time <sighs> so we're going to fix those this June and we're going to garden and we're going to decorate and we're also going to craft look at this for a bit of lovely remember i said about um doing the alice caroline quilts wow i'm on to month 
four, am I? Yes, month four I'm on, so I'm flying through it. And I'm loving what I've done, I'll show you another day. But not only that, Sue, hello Sue, she got in touch and she said, uh, I've got nine of the original boxes I'm looking to sell if you want them. And I said, yes, please, because then I'm going to have a wintry one because this this one's got all sorts of different darker colours. And I'm going to have the original one as well. So I'm really pleased about that. It's dead good, isn't it? Right. This vlog is really long enough. So unless anything super exciting happens for the rest of the day, I'm just going to insert some little bit of footage of what I get up to and some music over the top. But I think that'll be that. But first, I need to tell you, look at what I'm wearing. I made this. It's the Coco dress. I was just looking to see if I had the pattern, but I've packed it away. It's the Coco dress, but I've made it into a T-shirt. And it's quite nice because it's shaped. And um, I matched up my... No, I didn't. Don't look at that. I matched up my... Ish, my stripes. And I really like the neckline. But I think I made the t-shirt slightly too big because it does this all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Just had to cut a bit out because I turned and my... Can I do it again? My flip-flop made a fart. <laughs> anyway, I, I like this. I think it's nice. Oh, isn't it annoying that I've got to lose some weight? Because I think I look fine, and if I lose weight, my face is going to go like this. Which I hate, because then I look like my dad. <laughs> See ya! I've done an hour's gardening. I hate gardening. I'm gonna go and water what I've planted and I've picked some flowers. This is why I garden. Because I love flowers. I don't garden because I like gardening. I hate gardening. Honestly, you can't even see where I've been and I've been out there, I'm sweating. I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, I wish I liked gardening. All right, what should I put these in then? It's so different here now. Just four weeks ago, this was swathed in blue. I'll see if I can put a picture in. Can you hear my neighbour's dog barking? I've been barking like that for hours, a bit worried about it. I think they're out. He's in the garden. Anyway, you may think me a very peculiar person, but that horse we heard going by earlier has left me a present in the road. I'm having it. Oh, it's smelly. Some people say I'm a bit strange. I don't think so. My compost will love this. There we go. Brilliant. <laughs> so I've got that bay rotting down. This one I've just filled. And now I'm starting on this one. I forgot to record that I've done some painting. What? Lunge. <laughs> anyway, I've done an hour. Can't bear it. Right, I'm getting ready to take the boys to air hop. And 
my timer has gone off to say that I need to do my squats. So to prove to you that I am doing them, I'm going to do 10 now and I'm going to speed it up. Now let me know if I'm not doing them wrong, okay? <laughs> okay. For the front. I've lost count. I don't know how many I've done. How many have I done? Let's just keep going. <laughs> I reckon that must be enough. We are back from air hop. Did you have a nice time, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Did you master any of your tricks and skills? Yeah. 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 We got the spot on my nose, everybody. That is sore. Right, time to cook supper. Get ready for the dogs. Hello, girlies. Hello, girlies. Bye. Let's see if Margo will stop biting and shaking my dress. There she goes. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I need to now cook supper, water my pots indoors and outdoors, and... Um, edit this vlog. I started editing it in Airhop and I had a lot of trouble because I made a joke about my testosterone being so high that I was basically growing a willy and a beard and then I thought that might be offensive to somebody so I tried to edit it so it didn't sound offensive and then I thought to myself well people will always take offence over something. Oh and I also want to do my ironing. What you for? Mugs? Come here, you wally head. Crazy dog. And I also would like to do my ironing tonight because there's quite a pile over there and even bigger pile in the other room. Let's pop me down. I've got to feed these dogs. Anyway, it's six o'clock. I've got <coughs> stuff to do, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming along.